what a difference 72 hours makes when talking about this. Tim Legler played over a decade in the NBA is here. And the reason I bring up the 72 hours is because on Monday, the video that I assume many of you saw with Rudy Gobert touching the reporters, recorders, and I guess a careless, somewhat reckless move. I'm sure he thought it was playful in the moment. You've heard there's been some consternation in and around the league, his fellow teammates not appreciating what he was doing. As a former player, when you hear this, what do you think? Well, here's what I think happened with Rudy Gobert, and, and I understand why people are upset by his actions during that time. But I think what, what really happened was this guy's a professional athlete. He's young. He's thinking, like, maybe he's got a little bit of symptoms. Maybe he didn't at that time. But the last thing on his mind is probably that I have coronavirus. And right. so that's why he was acting that way. He was being playful and silly. And by all accounts, anything I've ever heard about Rudy Gobert, he's a conscientious guy. He's a great teammate. He's, he's a person that cares He's a, a profusely apologetic for what he did, and I think that's really what it was. It's almost like, you know, that feeling that athletes have, that, you know, that can't be that. Maybe I'm a little bit run down, I have a flu, I have a cold, whatever it may be. It's not that, and it was so early in the process, he obviously would do things a lot differently if he could now. Right, remember, he's a two-time defensive player of the year and said, had he not been diagnosed, he actually felt well enough to go and right. play, to buttress Tim's point, that he didn't really feel any ill effects or thought that he had it. Adam Silver, though, was asked about this because right now this is ground zero and the most important thing going on in the NBA with Gobert and then his teammate Donovan Mitchell. The commissioner was specifically asked about everything swirling around Gobert. You know, we don't talk a lot about it, and Rudy Gobert has acknowledged that he made a huge mistake by fooling around and touching the mics and all doing that the other day when he had no idea that um, he, he had the virus. And something, we spoke to him today, in fact, about doing a public service announcement with the league, just because we know the public follows what these players do, and we want to make sure people understand how important the protocol is of washing your hands thoroughly for 20 se seconds, of, you know, you know, you know not, not, you know, touching your face, you know, after you've watched your, washed your hands, about maintaining social distance in certain situations. So we actually think we can use this hiatus to, to use this platform we have on, on social media to help people deal um, with this disease. You got to give it to him. No matter what crisis he faces, Adam Silver is out in front right away, and that's his reaction. What's your reaction to the commission's reaction? Yeah, and decisive. Everything that Adam Silver does is decisive. I mean, he learned from the best in the business, right? And they, they handed the league over to someone who's going to put it in good hands. Um, he's right about that. So you want to address it what we saw, what is going on with Rudy Gobert. But at the same time, you also, you know, you don't want to pound this guy right now. First of all, he's dealing with something right now that none of us are. You aren't, I aren't, people out there are. But, you know, right now he's dealing with something. We need to be a little bit empathetic about that as well because who knows how bad he's going to feel, how sick he's going to get. So we need to think about that as well. There's no question in my mind it wasn't anything obviously intentional. He probably, he feels horrible about it. He has communicated that. I think we need now to let, you know, be, be, be beyond that. But... As he said, let's use it to make us all a little bit more self-aware of our actions and what we need to do to help mitigate this during this time. Well said. One other note, according to Woj, the owners are asking everybody to take into account 30 days. Let's go 30 days and see where we stand to perhaps see if basketball can be played again. That might seem a little bit ambitious, but right now, season suspended. Owners want to revisit in a month, and of course, we'll be with you every step of the way. Tim, thank you very much. Thank you.